Hi all, Tech Teardown here. Today I want to do a comparison between Google Chrome and Arc Browser. Let's jump in. So to start, most people will probably be using something like Google Chrome. Actually, Arc is built on Chromium. Some of the same functionality and the logins carry that over into Arc. So you get a bit of a similar feel, but I would argue they are very different. So the first thing that you'll probably notice in looking at Chrome versus Arc is the fact that the search bar and all of your different bookmarks where in Chrome, all of that navigation happens up in the top. On Arc, you have that on the left hand side. So in Chrome, you have different tabs that you can toggle through. Everything happens in this single window. And in Arc, you have a similar view over on the left hand side where you'll get a running list of the tabs that you have open. But something that's very unique to Arc is that you actually have these spaces. And so you can think of these like individual windows. And so depending on what you're working on, you can create these new spaces. So for example, if I wanted to make a new video, I could create a new space called new video. And I can keep all of those tabs that I'm using for that specific video in one place. This makes it really easy to navigate. You can go through those different sections here all in Arc Browser. If you're doing that in Chrome, you're probably flipping through multiple different windows. You can do things like grouping tabs in the Chrome browser itself. So you could add these to a new group called new video. So beyond looking at tabs, you can see there's differences in the way that things are structured. So in Chrome, you have bookmarks, which people will be very familiar with. So you can create these folders. In Arc, you have something similar where you have these folders that you can put your favorites in. You can also do things like favorite certain items that you go to frequently. And you have a list of apps that you might use up here. Looking at that in Chrome, you might do something similar. So you could create these saved bookmarks. So for example, I might make a bookmark here to put it in the bar. So I just have the icon. So that way I could quickly get to these different pages. So that would be a similar functionality that you could build in here in Chrome to replicate the same way that you're able to pin certain apps like you do in Arc. Just looking at the general feel between the two, you can download different themes in Chrome. And so by having those themes in Chrome, using the web store, you can personalize it uh, however you'd like with different colors. There's a lot of different customization that you can do. I personally like the way that it looks in Arc with this sort of gradient. You can also change that at any time by going into the view and changing the appearance to make it either light or dark. Or if you're actually in one of the spaces, you can click on the art sort of uh, paint tool and give it these really nice gradients that I think look awesome. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about the way that tabs work and how we're able to organize things with the different tabs, with the different bookmarks and with the pins. There's really some other features that I think start to separate these two quite a bit. And that's actually how you're able to save things in each one. In Chrome itself, you're really using bookmarks. If you want to save views for another time that you might be working on something, your best option is going to be to download an extension like Session Buddy would let you create these saved sessions for later. In Arc, that's probably going to look something like building out these spaces where you can pull them up very easily. So these spaces, you can have uh, multiple of these so that if you're working on a specific project, you can quickly get back to that section. So it works a little bit like Session Buddy where you can save those tabs or make those pinned so you can come back to them when you would like to. And there's also a decent archive functionality that's in the browser where you can see all of the recently closed tabs or the different items that you had in Arc. So you can look at them, those that were manually closed, auto closed, or in uh, this particular space. Now, I think where the, that Arc really starts to shine is when you're talking again about saving things beyond just the tabs, but doing things like saving uh, particular items that you find on the web. 
on easel it makes it very easy to save things that you see on the internet and i love this because i see a lot of things that i want to save from places like twitter so i can quickly take a screenshot of those pull those in maybe it's a piece of text that i really like from an article maybe it's an image that i saw and it all keeps the context of where those things came from so if i ever wanted to get back to those i could quickly get back to those places in Chrome, there is no functionality that's baked in that'll allow you to save things like that. You really need a, another tool to make that work. You might be thinking of something like Pinterest, but Pinterest uh, is not my favorite in the way that it saves things. It saves it to boards. I like a little bit more flexibility to move things around in a space like you can in Arc, be able to add my own text or arrows or draw add my own shapes, really gives it a custom feel in art that I don't get in using it on Pinterest. I also do a fair amount of saving text, and so that works really nicely when I'm saving those things in Arc, which you can do with Pinterest. Now, if you're saving things like articles to read, I really do think you're still going to find Notion is probably the best way to do that. In Notion, I save all of the articles that I want to read using an extension. And so you're able to use extensions in Arc, just like you would in Chrome. And so you can use these Save to Notion extensions, which is great when I'm reading a particular article or a page that I want to save. So I'm able to actually click into an article, use the Notion Saver extension, to save that page and now I'd be able to see that page updated right there so that I could go back and read that when I have a second. In Chrome you can do the same thing with Notion although a lot of people use Pocket. Not my preferred way of doing this I like to have all my content in one place so I'm a big Notion user but another way that you could save things in Chrome. Now, another thing I really enjoy about Arc is the ability to drag between the two in a split screen. So for example, if I wanted to save this image, I could quickly right click and capture that image and send it over to the easel just by going to this option for design or even easier, I can just click and drag it over and it knows that I want to save that. So it perfectly pulls it over. And I could also do that with text, which is really nice. Looking at something like Chrome, this is just not a feature that you have. So for example, if I wanted to do the same thing and maybe I had Notion pulled up and I wanted to save this image and put it into my Notion, that is not going to work. It doesn't pull it in, even though I have two Chrome windows open side by side, which is how I'm trying to replicate what you would experience in Arc. It doesn't really figure out that I want to save that at all. Another feature that I love about Arc is being able to rename things. So you can see it gets a little bit cluttered over here on the side and not all websites give you a really nice descriptive way of what this is. So what I love with Arc is you can double click and you can change this to whatever you want it to be. This really helps you clean up your tabs and makes it really easy to get back to that tab in the future. In Chrome, there is no functionality for this that's built in, so double clicking is not gonna do anything. You could download from the Chrome Web Store an extension like Tab Renamer. I don't find them to work that well. They often break, and so I don't use them at all in Chrome. Another interesting comparison point is looking at the home page. And so when you start up in Chrome, you really just have a generic home page that you can see over here on the left. I've added my own background. There's a Google search bar. But beyond that, there's not much more customization that you can do. What I like about Arc is the ability to perhaps make your own custom web page using easel. I have this easel that I have called home. I've added some images here and I've embedded some things that I might want to look at every single time that I get on the internet. So I have the weather up here on the left side. I have the front page of The Verge and I have Reddit here embedded on the page. Now what's neat is that with some new features that are being tested, 
is actually having that ability to have these updates. So for me, I'm really enjoying Arc's ability to help save and curate while I'm on the internet. I really appreciate the style that it has over Chrome and not having to download a lot of other extensions like Pocket or Tap Renamer or Session Buddy. And so for me, that's really what's making it stand out in my experience using it. But let me know what you think. Are you still enjoying Chrome? Are you excited to use Arc? Maybe there's another browser that you enjoy even better. For me, I'm really liking the way that Arc is approaching this and I can't wait to see what they do as they continue to develop it. As always, thanks for watching and hit subscribe if you like these videos.